This is All India Radio. Children sir. There is more treasure in books than in all the pirates loot on Treasure Island by William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare who doesn't know him? Good morning everyone. Welcome to Children's Heart. We Sandhya Javli and group of students are here to present a few scenes from Merchant of Venice written by William Shakespeare who was an English playwright, poet and actor. He is widely regarded as the greatest writer in English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the bard of Avon. Shakespeare remains arguably the most influential writer in English language and his works continue to be studied and reinterpreted. Shakespeare was born and raised in Sadford upon Avon, Warwickshire. Shakespeare was the son of John Shakespeare, an alderman and a successful glower. At the age of 18, he married Annie Hathaway, with whom he had three children. He began a successful career in London as an actor, writer and part owner of a playing company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men, later known as the King's Men. At age 49, he appears to have retired to Sadford, where he died three years later. He actually belongs to the Elizabethan period of English Revolution and also considered as the Golden Age of English. The Act 1, Scene 3 take place at the public in a street of Venice. Bassanio approached Shylock, a money lender, for a loan of 3,000 ducats for three months on Antonio's credit. Shylock nerds a long-standing grudge against Antonio, who had made the habit of criticizing Shylock for usury, the habit of lending money at exorbitant rate of interest. He looks like someone who wants to take my money, but then ask me for a favor. I hate him because he lends out money without charging interest, which forces me to lower the interest, then I loan it. If I get better of him just once, just once, I'll satisfy my old grudge against him. And he speaks badly of me, my bargains and my hard-earned money in the company of other merchants, talking about interest. May my tribe be cursed if I forgive him. Shylock, are you in your senses? I'm thinking about how much money I have right now. And as best as I can remember, I can't raise a gross of sum of 3,000 ducats right now. But that doesn't matter. Jubal, a wealthy person of my tribe, will supply the rest of the money. But wait, how many months do you want for? Aye, sir, for three months. 3,000 ducats, which is a good sum. Three months out of 12, that makes up a year. So now let us see the rate. Well, Shylock, are you going to oblige us? Sir Antonio, many times you have criticized me about my money and habit of charging interest in Rialto. I have endured it with all my patience and shrug because we are known for our ability to endure. And now it appears that you need my help. Okay then. You come to me and you say, Shylock, I need money. You tell me this, you who spat on my beard and kicked me as you did as a stray dog from your threshold. Now you ask for money. What should I say to you? Shouldn't I say, does a dog have money? Is it possible for a dog to lend you 3,000 ducats? Or should I get bent to my knees and with the bated breath, humbly whisper, Fair sir, You spat on me last Wednesday. You spurned me then. Another time you call me a dog. And for all this courtesy you have shown me, I'll gladly lend you this much money. I'm likely to call you such names again. Spit on you again and spurn you too. If you decide to lend this money, don't do it 
as if we are your friends why why look at your temper i would be friends with you and have your affection forget about how you have shamed me lend you what you need and take no interest but you won't listen to me right i am giving you a kind offer i'll show you this kindness go with me to a notary and sign an agreement if you do not repay the agreed sum on the agreed day on the agreed place you'll forfeit to me a 1 pound of fair flesh to be cut off from your body wherever i choose sure why not i will agree to such a deal shylock agrees to lend bisanyu 3000 ducats without charging any interest but entitled to the pound of antonio's flesh despite bisanyo's warning antonio agrees to sign the bond as a sure that a ship will return before the fixed time before moving towards act 3 scene 1 in act 2 shylock trusts his deceitful daughter with his possessions while she is making plans to betray him Shylock is not inclined to attend the dinner hosted by Bassanio but ultimately decides to have the meal. He fears that all is not well and gives instructions to Jessica to look and guard his house. Launcelot reveals to Jessica about the plans of Lorenzo. Therefore, Jessica disguises herself as a boy and elopes with Lorenzo, taking some of Shylock's possessions. In act 3 scene 1 the scene takes place at a street of Venice this plot begins to develop towards a crisis the rumors about Antonio's shipwreck and his losses become more definite and so does Shylock thirst for revenge what news is there from the rialto now well there is an unproven rumor around there that Antonio has lost a ship carrying many riches on the english channel It happened on a very dangerous deadly sandbar I think they call the good winds where the remains of many tall ships lie buried that is if the gossip turns to be true how are you shylock what's the news among the merchants you knew about my daughter's plan to run away and no one knew better than you that's for sure my part i knew the tailor made the wings she flew away on she's damn for running away I can't believe my own flesh and blood rebelled against me. There is a greater difference between your flesh and hers than between coal and ivory. With him, I have more bad luck. He's a bankrupt now. He's a beggar now. You used to call me an usurer. Now let him pay attention to his obligations. Well, I'm sure if he doesn't pay you back, you won't actually take his flesh. What would that be good for? I could use it as bait for fish. if it will feed nothing else it will actually feed my revenge half a million times he has disgraced me and hindered me he has laughed at my losses mocked my profits scorned my people messed with my business deals turned my friends against me and encouraged my enemies how are things jubel what's news from genova have you found my daughter i often found word of her but i couldn't find her Well, there you go. One of the diamonds she took cost me two thousand ducats in Frankfurt. Our people are cursed, but I have never felt the curse until now. Two thousand ducats lost in that diamond, plus the other precious, precious jewels. I wish my daughter were dead here at my feet with the jewels in her ears. Other men have bad luck too. I heard about Antonio in Genoa. What? 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 He had some bad luck. Bad luck Antonio has lost a ship coming from Tripoli Thank you good Jubel good news good news <laughs> good news out in Genova By hearing the news brought by Tubel about the lost ship Antonio Shylock gets elated and goes to the synagogue to take an oath not to give up his scheme of revenge on Antonio Antonio gets arrested by Shylock due to the four feature of the bond Antonio in custody tries to placate Shylock so that he may change his attitude but Shylock insists that he wants nothing less than the bond 
and Shylock departs. In the meantime, Bassanio was in Belmont. However, Portia conceives of a plan to rescue Antonio from the clutches of the cruel Shylock. Portia suggests to Bassanio to hasten their marriage and leave to Venice to save his friend's life. Portia then gets ready to go to Venice disguised as a lawyer and Nerissa as a clerk. The court scene shall commence. Well, is Antonio here? I am here sir and ready as you please. Antonio, I am sorry for you. You have come here to face an adversary as stubborn as a rock and inhuman wretch incapable of pity completely empty of single drop of mercy. I have heard that you have tried your hardest to change his rigid mind. But since he remains stubborn and there is nothing I can do legally to escape him, I will meet his anger with patience and suffer his tyranny and rage quietly. Make room so that he can stand right in front of me. Shylock, everyone thinks and I agree that you are just putting on a show of such malice until the very last minute. And then you will last show some mercy and remorse. And something may be even more shocking to see from than your cruelty. Your Grace, I have told you what my intention is and I have sworn to take what is on to me by our legal contract. If you deny me this rightful penalty, it will fall and reflect upon your city and its freedom. I'm sure you're going to ask me why. Why I would choose to have a pound of flesh rather than 3,000 ducats have been offered. I won't give you any answer other than just to say I just feel like it. How can you hope for mercy if you don't show it yourself? Why? Why should I worry about the mercy when I've done nothing wrong? You have among you many purchased slaves that you oibly use them like donkeys, dogs or mules because you bought them. Should I tell you to free them and marry them to your heirs? Why do you make them sweat doing work? Why not their beds be soft as yours and let them eat the same fine food as you? If I had said that, you tell me that slaves are yours. So I gave you the answer. I have bought the pound of flesh that I demanded from him. It's mine and I'll have it. I have the power to dismiss this court unless Bellerio, a learned doctor of law, comes here today. My lord, there is a messenger standing just outside with letters from Bellario. He's just arrived from Padua. Bring me the letter and call the messenger in. Antonio, cheer up. Nerissa enters, disguised as a lock clerk. Yes, from both, my lord. Bellario sends his greetings, your grace. Shylock, why are you sharpening your knife so eagerly? To cut what is on to me of that bankrupt man sitting over there. You should be sharpening your knife, not on the sole of your shoe, but on your hardened soul. But no blade, not even executioner's axe, is half as sharp as your sharp envy. Can no prayers pierce your stubborn heart? Who oh, damn you, you relentless dog, I hope justice comes to you. Portia, disguised as a lawyer, Balthazar enters. Balthazar, give me your hand. Have you come from the old Bellerio? Yes, my lord. Welcome. Take your place here. Are you familiar with the different sides of the case facing the court right now? Is your name Shylock? Shylock is my name. You are pursuing a strange case, but there is nothing under Venetian law that can stop you from proceeding. Antonio, you are at his mercy, aren't you? Yes, as Shylock says. You have broken the agreement? I do. Then the Shylock must be merciful. Why must I? Tell me why. Please tell me why. Mercy is not something that one is forced to practice. It falls easily like a gentle rain from the sky. It is doubly blessed thing. It blesses both the person showing mercy and the person receiving mercy. Mercy is most admirable in the mightiest men. It looks better on a king than his crown. 
we pray to god for mercy and the same prayer should teach us all to show mercy to others my deeds are my responsibility i want the law to be upheld the penalty that which he must forfeit because of the loan yes here i have the money for him in the court even twice the sum if that is not enough i will pay 10 times the sum of money or else give up my hands my head and my heart if none of this is enough then shylock's malice overwhelms his honesty duke i beg you bend the law to your authority violate the law a little to do the right thing and stop this cruel devil from getting what he wants no he must not do that no one in venice is powerful enough to alter an agreed upon decree a daniel a daniel is now judging us yes a daniel i honor you wise and judge well the penalty must be paid shylock may lawfully claim a pound of flesh to be cut off from near the merchant's heart be merciful shylock take three times of the money tell me to tear up the agreement you can tear it up after the debt has been paid it seems that you are a worthy judge antonio i am married to a wife who is as dear to me as life itself but i don't think as highly of life itself my wife and all the world as of your life i would lose all of it yes i would sacrifice everything to this devil standing here to rescue you why what are you wasting time such a wise judge the right sentence come get ready hold on a second there is something else this agreement doesn't give you any drop of blood the little words are a pound, a pound of, flesh. of flesh so take what is yours take your pound of flesh but if in cutting it off you shed one drop of blood your lands and goods will be confiscated by the state of venice by the city's laws what a just judge listen to her ho oh, you wise judge is that the law is that the law you'll see for yourself just as you are bent on absolute justice rest assured that more justice than you want would be served for you i i will take this offer then i'll take three times of the money and let this man go here here is the money shylock this is a second daniel a daniel now i have got you wait shylock will have all his justice don't rush he will have nothing but the penalty he asked for give me the money and let me go i have it ready for you here it is he has refused the money in the open court he will have only justice and the penalty owed to him well well then i hope the devil gets him for this i won't stay here any longer to argue wait shylock wait the law has another requirement of you it is enacted in the laws of venice that if a foreigner is proved to have directly or indirectly attempted to kill a citizen the citizen against whom he plotted will take half of his goods and the other half is confiscated by the state and the guilty man's life is in the hands of duke alone and at his mercy and i say that this law applies to you because it seems very clear that you have contrived indirectly and directly against antonio's life and now you must face the danger now on your knees then back for duke's mercy if it pleases my lord the duke and the rest of the court i'm content to give up the half of his goods owed to me as long as he gives me the other half of his wealth so that i can invest it and upon his death give it to the gentleman that recently eloped with his daughter another thing i want him to make a will here in this court that he leaves everything upon his death to his son in law lorenzo and his daughter are you content shylock what do you say to this i i am content shylock if it were up to me you would have 10 more to make it 12 judges to send you to the gallows instead of baptismal fountain like this 
the trial sentence whereby Antonio who was suffering from the clutches of a rock-hearted cruel man Shylock gets freed himself with the help of Portia who came as Balthazar Dr Bellerio's junior lawyer Shylock gets a good lesson in his life the person who wanted an unworthy flesh of a man now just took three times the sum of the lent money and freed Antonio he was in love with his only money and wealth so he got his wealth back on condition of giving his complete properties everything which he has to give for Lorenzo the son in law finally by the end of the play we have got to know how the whole play has an important role on the theme of friendship loyalty justice mercy and shylock's love for wealth at the trial scene antonio submits himself to the tyranny of shylock even after knowing the for feature of bond was just an excuse to have revenge on him eventually bassanio shows his true friendship for antonio to rescue him from the clutches of shylock ultimately poshia gives a correct justice to shylock's for feature here in this trial scene poshia is seen as one of the shakespeare's most intellectual and captivating heroines she is a typical renaissance heroine who is cultured refined well versed in classical literature and fond of music and art you were just listening to the merchant of venice erected by v sandhya jolly and group of students i am driti the narrator along with me were kavana the narrator sahana narrator and naresa tejas narrator nayan sai narrator and antonio ragav shailok jeevan basanio dikshit grashanio trinath salanio mohan chubul shahid salarino ruchita poshia nayan yadav the duke alroy musician and our trainers are tumpa mitra aba priya sandhya and cyprian chris de souza with that we conclude today's children heart